thank you Jesus. Sasa zile nilikuwa nateseka hawakukua. Wacha wapige nduru. Katupatia standing ovation for a while mtandao esta esta guardian o 50 25 whatever. Nami ningo tuko hallelujah thank you Jesus. So I met this lady and the first question she asked me what is your who is your manager? Because I feel like you have not gotten where you need to be. And hiyo kitu ile kwa inamsumbua sana wewe kwani wewe mbona uko hivi bado? Kwani mbona uko hivi? You know. And her she's just concerned about my life and my music. Na mimi na cheki. Potenjo. Sali mali lakini. Oh, sili hii. Na kwa uko na ngangana na mziki wangu, eh you need to see, you need to hata na kambaka video video shoot zangu na angalia eh anatumwa maji, yenda ulete maji anakimbia na sema aki waneni huyo. Mungu, si ndio hii mboga safi. Inashughulika. Anaja. Eh first time eh, and I'm saying this even before Esther's uh, kids. This is Gilda and this is Glenn. Because because there's nothing to hide. And this is what it is. You know that uh, that God chose a different direction for me because he knew the price I had paid. You understand? So Esther comes into my life and the only thing she needs to do is to shift my mindset and make me realize aya kumbe inawezekana and just like a joke i am the person that i am today a very number one wealthy person a very wise person number two and a very strong person This is what God has been able to give me through this woman. That only a little tweak on my mindset has made me stable. Stable enough to go and sleep without working for a while and be comfortable. That today if I don't if I tell her baby we are not working anymore from today. We want to just sleep. Atutai sota bado. Atwezi sota mali Mungu ametufikisha sasa sasa hivi atwezi kanja tukilala hata. Na sasa ubaya na sisi tulalangi tunapiga kazi kweli kweli. Wana understand? Able to see the difference between then and now uh, those who are not been able to see you will see if you don't ever see it's okay don't see as long as i'm seeing i'm going to matter here amen but i thank god i thank god that i have not gone down i have not stopped singing for him since esther i sing for him even more i've released my first album with her I had never done an album. And now I have the second album in one year with her. And it's a gospel album. Sija potea. Amen. Sasa ndo nimesimama ima. Amen. Cha muhimu ni maisha ya mtu kubadilika. Hiyo ndio kitu nataka mwaelewe. Kwamba maisha yako iweze kukuwa impacted. She has impacted my life. And I believe I've been able to impact her life in different dimensions. Amen. But I won't, don't want to tap my back. I, I will let her tell you something. And I wanted to tell you if there's been impact or there's none. Baby, and to tell them something. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. Hi. Say hi. Hi everyone. Tumwacheze <laughs> 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 Um so much you want me to say. 
I'm speechless. <sighs> you know, one thing I realized with life, God has your script, not a human being has your script. And everything I have desired for, I'm 51 years now, and living 50 years, and I think sometimes when you speak to God and, and tell God what you want with your life, he actually does that. And this is something I keep saying. When, when I was turning 50 in 2020, I said to God, God, I want to live a life that is totally different from the way I've been living. I want, I want a change in my life. I want to see you working in my life. I didn't know what he was preserving for me. And honestly, even when I met Guardian, there was nothing to do with the relationship. It was purely, for me, I was excited because the song Rada, I felt like that song was speaking to me. It was, it was actually written for me. And God has worked his way through, even with my children. I mean, people used to ask, where are, where, where are the children? They're there. We are proud of them. And Guardian is a friend. I mean, him, and I, I, I don't know, all my kids are G's. God, Gideon, Gilda, Glenn, and then Guardian. G's. Amen. G's. Amen. Amen. So G I have G's. Mm. Yes. Mm. And these two. Come, 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 come. Now you see where somebody got inspiration from. <laughs> and Gilda there Guardian has been able to help her I mean he's, he's, he's probably the father they, 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 they desired to have even if they have their biological father but it's someone they're friends they're friends they talk sometimes they go behind my back and write him messages they want money <laughs> They want, yeah, I know. They want money. They want this and this. So the relationship he's been able to build with them has made me appreciate him even more every day because Thank you. he loves them like his own children. He talks to them. You know, things like this one is 23, I think. 23, eh? There are things he would not talk to me about, but he talks to him. So he's like a brother, you know? They call each other G. Hi G, hi G, hi G, you know? So for those who ask, what will Guardian, what will my kids call Guardian? They call him G. Yeah? So this has been a journey for us. Even when we were building the Thanks for Giving album. Come. Mm. Thanks for coming. Yeah. We didn't even know the impact it would have because it was an album that was was it was it, for us was to just give God thanks for our lives for that period. It was a year, I think, mm. after we met, and we were just telling God, "Thank you, you know, thank you for standing with us. Thank you for taking us through the storm." Mm. 